guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carissa and today is another one of my poems, my spoken word um, poems. So I hope you like it. It's called My Preconceived Understandings of You, Fear, or Right. So it's about fear and recognizing fear, tackling fear, overcoming fear, truly becoming fearless. So. I hope you can relate to this poem. If you do, please like this video, subscribe down below, turn on the bell icon for post notifications so that you can know where I post another video, and comment down below if you have any thoughts or feelings about this poem. I would love to hear it. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. See you next time. I've heard of you in every classroom when students give presentations. I've seen the marks of redness you leave on cheeks. Though I've also been told how you can strip a person of all the blood of their face, draw water from their hairlines, beads of intimidation that find themselves in armpits too. You're most talked about at the end of October, fear, as an invisible character in almost every movie on the 31st. And like a friend of a friend, when I meet you, I say, I've heard so much about you. Like most meetings, though, it is usually the masquerade of bad gossip and worse expectation upon seeing your face, hearing your raspy growl. Your palms make me clammy when I am forced to shake hands. You're hard to take in, like a mouthful of never breaking, never melting ice. You are like bee stings to a sweet tongue that numb it to a reluctant stillness. Like how classic headphones squeeze our weary heads, you suppress our ears shouting, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen. So we listen with good obedience. You're the writer of our white lies, but you are not the light. You, fear, are the darkness. Make up the shadowed outlines of every nightmarish Elm Street. You're the chattering of baby teeth, wisdom teeth, and dentures. Now I'm coming to your door by elevator. The sixth apartment on the 66th floor, you know I'm terrified by heights, but somehow I just laugh and it blends in with your doorbell rings. I stare into your peephole and I anticipate how you'll answer. The door screeches open and I shout, fear, I'm no longer of the faint-hearted 